friends, welcome back. Um, just a quick note before we get going here. Uh, in between this video and the last one, we actually passed 500 subscribers on this channel, which is super cool. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you guys. I appreciate you giving me your time and hanging out. Um, and without further ado, uh, let's get to the Maid Rosaria unboxing. All right. So the other cosplay, uh, this is my Uwu cosplay Rosaria. Um, I ordered her at the same time as Mona, and they both came together. Um, so let's see what's going on here. This is what it looks like. Uh, um, this is what it looks like on their site. Um, I see something I'm already excited for. <laughs> this one was fifty dollars as well. Oh my god. How is this $50? Um, so there is the embroidery on the front though. And there is the embroidery on the front, uh, just saying Rosaria. Some really nice clean scallops on the bottom there too. We love to see it. And then, okay, so we have uh, some more like sewn in and lined top cups. Those are really nice. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I have gotten more expensive maid cosplays just from like Amazon that did not have half the quality of this. <laughs> I'm looking at this right out of the bag already and like, oh my god. Um, it's got this beautiful like long train. And this is all like a, a shimmery kind of sheer fabric. Um, looks like we've got a zipper down the back. Everything's cleaned up really well. Everything's surged. There is. Oh god, you're gonna want shorts for this one too. Are you kidding me? This is open and then they have the like maid uh, apron. They've, this is open and then they have the maid apron. Wear shorts. <laughs> Just wear shorts, unless your intentions are, are different. Um, boy, this train is beautiful, though. Um, so for the top, we have these... I, I adore these, like, little bird skull <laughs> uh, closures. And then we have uh, this, like, tri-strap front. Um, so we have one that goes down in between, and then one on each side, and... A ribbon to tie it around your neck. Um, this is pretty nice pleather that they have on the top. They've lined the top cups. Um, the fronts feel like they're a pleather too. Like this is a leathery texture, but the back is really nice and soft and silky, so that's awesome. Um, this is we've got the top up here, which has got like short sleeves. This has that same nice shimmery black. It's kind of like a wet look with the uh, with the apron. This is really thin um, because this is by a part like right by your armpit where you're going to be moving a lot. It makes me think that like this is going to want to turn out. Um, but they've done a good job of like sewing it down to things that should help keep it down. I'm just I'm skeptical about this part. <laughs> The collar is beautiful though. Look at this collar. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> we've got like the the nice little fake pearl closures on the back. This beautiful interfaced collar, and then look at the little look at the little snowflakes that they've put on there. Those are adorable. I love that. Um, they're hand sewn on. Hand sewn. Uh, they're hand sewn on too. So those aren't going anywhere. I love that. Um, that's. Pretty much it for the top, but we do have this whole bag of accessories, so let's see what's going on here. Got our uh, tights, our fishnet stockings. We've got, wow, some heavy accessories, oh my god. 
here's here's her headband super cute super straightforward this is all sewn together super well this is the same nice really light fabric um, that was on my made Mona cosplay from the same company and then we have we've got a lot of ribbon I think this is like a garter for her legs it's gotta be this is really nice so they've put elastic on the back of this We've got some good stretch on there. I like that. I like that. Um, and then it looks like we have this cute little snowflake that just hangs down. We've got this cute little snowflake that just hangs down from that uh, leg bit. A lot of chains. A lot of chains. Rosaria is very fancy. Um, and then it looks like on the side, we have another dangly bit that like hangs on the side of your leg with some ribbon to tie it around. This looks kind of complicated, but I bet it's not as it's not as confusing as it looks. Um, I'll pull the picture and put it here. Um, looks like we've got a belt here. This is a nice belt. So this wraps around her waist and it's like a, a double belt it looks like they have it wrapped around her waist twice um on the picture I'm not sure how this part's gonna work but I mean it's a it's a nice quality belt this is super sturdy like all of these are actual little metal bits and not just like glued on so that's awesome and then we have it looks like this part goes around her waist she's got like a little bow um on her waist <laughs> glue stick we didn't get a glue stick with mona but we got one with rosaria so that's nice um, oh my gosh, this is a lot of chains. Um, <laughs> just take this apart very carefully. Um, okay, let me move this to the side so we can figure this out. Um, these all have like safety pins on the back. Ooh, you know. Okay, that is separate. Okay, so these all hang down from her side. Um, she's got a few different bows that I guess we're gonna be pinning to her waist on chains. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. They they all have the like safety pins uh, just glued onto the back there. More of these really cute. Um, more of these really cute snowflake charms. And then this is, we have like a rogue extra chain that's not attached to anything. I'm wondering if it has something to do with where this one goes. This is beautiful. Look at that gem. That's stunning. This is like metal too. It's. You might be able to break it if you really put your mind to it, but it doesn't feel like this one. When I feel it, I can tell that this is a plastic, but this one, I don't know. I don't know. It's warming up in my hand a little bit. It's harder to tell. Like this, I know for sure. This seems like it's a pretty good quality. 
Okay, this this is centered on the front. It's like her like um neck accessory. A little bow around her neck, that's what this is. And then these are on like the front of the cosplay. But yeah, that's everything. Uh, I'm gonna put her on and we'll see how we do. I'm definitely gonna get some shorts though. It seems like that is a theme for these. Okay, side note. So this wig is, this wig is from Amazon. Um, and this is really nice. So obviously like her hair goes right down the middle and I'm, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like right out of the bank. <laughs> I can style it later. Um, but it actually has some really nice layers in it. Um, it's, it's got that strip of red so you can cut it so it's like right down the center of her face. Um, and then it should be pretty easy to partition off and style the rest of this. Like, this is a really nice wig for the price, so, yeah. So this dress is amazing. <laughs> um, it fit me, it fit me really, really well. I tied the leg thing on sideways at first because I wasn't really sure if it should go like down the front or down the side, but everything else Oh my gosh. I like I felt amazing in this. I will say the front cut is a little low. I just put on like a sports bra under this just for modesty's sake, especially for this video. Um, and there was a little bit of extra room kind of where that front strap is that just like puffed out on the side. The sleeves stay down really well. I'm just thoroughly impressed with this. It it's amazing for the price. Obviously, the shorts thing is still an issue. Like, get get an undersuit or, like, something to put <laughs> under this if you're gonna wear it out and not, like, just for photos um, with friends. So, yeah, just incredible. I'm honestly kind of astonished how good this was for the price. And full disclosure, like, I... I, I'm not sponsored by UU Cosplay or anything like that. I know I'm throwing a lot of compliments at this thing and I just need to make that super clear. Like, nope, that's, it's just me. So all said and done, I'm gonna give this the exact same score that I gave the Made Mona one. Honestly, the price is amazing. The quality is there and this one fit really, really well. Um, but the shorts. <laughs> For for modesty's sake, like if if you bought this and you're like, hey, I'm I'm at a convention and I'm gonna wear it right now, uh, you would have to bring your own garments for modesty. So that's where I'm gonna take points off, unfortunately. But still a solid A, I think. If you were looking at this and you were wondering, like, oh, would would this work for me? Um, I would recommend it. It's it's super cute and super fun. I think, as usual, um, it seems like Uwu cosplay is mostly true to size, but if you're you're worried about what your sizing might be, I would say just order, order a size up just to be careful. You can always pin things and take it in, and it's much easier to do that than trying to let out a cosplay. So that's pretty much the same as usual. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for giving me your time again today. Um, next up is the Doki Doki SR Kokomi cosplay, and I'm really excited to show you guys that one. Um, it is going to take me a little while longer to edit it just because there is a lot going on with that cosplay and I have a lot to talk about, but don't worry, I'm, I'm really excited to share. So I will see you guys again really soon, but until then, take care.